If you've ever experienced an itchy vulva, then you are not alone. Before anyone comes and says to you, oh, it's because you've got poor personal hygiene, you know, you're not looking after yourself, you've been too promiscuous, blah, blah, blah. It's not. Hi ladies, I'm Dr. Simi, former surgeon, current GP and cosmetic doctor. Welcome to my channel where we discuss all things skin and women's health. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why do our vulvas itch? What are the possible causes? How you can manage this yourself? And of course, I'll tell you when to see your doctor. Okay, so let me set the scene. So you're in public, maybe you're at school or at work or maybe at college, and then suddenly you have this irresistible urge to scratch your vulva. What do you do? Are you A, mind over matter queen? So you're just gonna ignore it and you're gonna hope that it goes away. B, I don't give a damn queen, it's natural anyway, so you're just gonna reach right down and you're going to scratch it. Or C, prim and proper queen. So you're just going to discreetly kind of rub your labia together and increase the amount of friction and hope that no one notices. Whichever way you decide to deal with this, it's going to happen to you at some point or another because vulval itching is actually one of the most common vulval disorders. And it's estimated that about 10% of women will go and see their doctor at some point for persistent vulval itch. So why then are we not talking about it? I'll tell you why, because we are embarrassed, we feel ashamed, and also we feel that we'll be judged. So having a persistent vulval itch is medically known as pruritus vulvi. And it's actually not a medical condition, it's a symptom. So a symptom is something that you can feel. I can actually give you a million reasons why you would have a vulval itch. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe not a million, but there are a lot. Okay, so let's talk about what's so special about the vulva that makes it more prone to becoming itchy. It's a moist and it's a warm environment. You're wiping it or cleaning it and you might be using harsh products on it. And on top of that, it's probably coming into contact with lots of different bodily fluids, vaginal discharge, menstrual blood, urine, maybe feces, maybe semen. And then let's talk about our vulval grooming practices because there are so many, right? So maybe you're waxing it, shaving it, plucking it, sugaring it, lasering it, chemical peeling it. Maybe you're even vaginal it. I think this was a trend from about two years ago. And then you're also spraying it, bubble bathing it, bath bombing it, lubricating it, perfuming it. It's like, ah, oh, how much can one vulva take? Our vulvas go through a lot, right? No wonder they can become itchy. Most women that have vulva itching will have an identifiable cause. So let's go through some of these causes. STIs, so sexually transmitted infections. Now the symptoms can vary depending on the STI that's present, but itch can be a symptom of many STIs, including genital herpes, which are blister-like sores which can appear on the vulval lips. And these can irritate and they can also itch. Um, and they look like having cold sores or a group of cold sores, but on the labia. Trichomonas vaginalis can also cause itching but also a characteristic looking vaginal discharge you know how much i love introducing you to microorganisms don't you so here's another one actually this is not for the faint-hearted so i'm giving you a warning now look away if you are squeamish say hello to phytherus pubis i really hope that i haven't butchered that name and that i've pronounced it properly <laughs> let me just simplify it this is otherwise known as crabs or a pubic louse or pubic lice if it's coming along with some friends. So pubic lice are actually wingless insects and they feed off the blood and then they lay their eggs, which are called nits, on the pubic hair. Do you know what? I'm actually realizing that this is sounding like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> And I promise you, it's nothing like that. It actually sounds worse than it is. The way that they are contracted is by close bodily contact. So they pretty much just hop from one person onto another. You can see why they're called crabs. Um, this can cause an intensely itching vulva, which tends to be worse at night. They are readily treatable with medication or lotions that you can buy over the counter. So don't stress out, it's treatable. So even though it's treatable, with any STI, having that STI treated is not enough. You really need to have a full STI screen. If you really have to be thinking to yourself, if you have one STI, it's very possible for you to have another. There are other non-STI infections or infestations that can also cause a vulval itch. So for example, scabies. Now scabies is caused by mite, which actually burrows under the topmost layer of the skin and it can lay its eggs under the skin and this causes an intensely itchy vulva which again tends to be worse at night. And this is treatable using a topical insecticide. 
Threadworms, otherwise known as pinworms, are tiny worms that can be found in the faeces. Faeces is a fancy name for poo. These look like tiny bits of thread and they can live in the anus or in the vagina. When they're present around the vulva, they give itch, which is worse at night, which tends to be the time when they come out. I know that's sounding really scary, but don't worry. They are readily treatable with medication that you can buy over the counter or from the chemist. So another cause of an itchy vulva, which a lot of us are familiar with, is candidiasis or a yeast infection. This can cause an itchy vulva and then subsequently something that I personally like to refer to as the thrush dance. I won't go into too much detail about this on here because I've already made a whole video dedicated to this topic, which you can watch here. So what do you think is the most common cause of vulval itch? Press pause and comment below. Did you fall for my pause? <laughs> Oh my God, do you know what? I don't even know if I paused properly. My mouth was going. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm paused. I'm back with you. Let's carry on. Um, okay, so if you said thrush or a yeast infection, try again. If you said irritant or contact dermatitis, I will give you a medal because you are absolutely right. So contact dermatitis is the most common cause of vulval itching. And this is a type of eczema where the skin comes into contact with something that irritates it. This causes inflammation and then it causes itching. Irritants can include fragrances, soaps, bubble baths, wipes, because these can dry out the vulval skin and then make it itchy. So you know that gorgeous toilet paper that you bought because it was a bog off? The lavender scented one. Yeah, that's a problem. You need to toss that out because your vulva doesn't like it. Detergents, fabric conditioners and fabric dyes can also act as irritants. And even spermicides and condoms and some lubricants can cause some women to have vulval itch. Now, if the itch is long standing and it's become chronic, skin thickens up to protect itself. And this is called lichenification. And we see this a lot in eczema actually. Another skin condition that can cause vulval itch is psoriasis. So psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory skin condition that gives these red, Patches that have silvery scales. Now, if you are darker skin toned, like myself, because you have more melanin in your skin, you're not going to necessarily see that redness. And these patches can actually look dark brown or maybe purple with gray scales. And on the vulva, the psoriasis can actually look different because remember that the area is warm and it's moist. So you don't always see those silvery or gray scales and the borders or the margins of the patches are not always so clearly marked out. They might look a little bit blurred. So sometimes a diagnosis can be missed. Ingrown hairs, if you've ever suffered from these, you'll know that these can also itch because the skin becomes very irritated. And also one of the complications of ingrown hair, folliculitis, can also give itching. There are other skin conditions that can cause an itchy vulva. So we have lichen simplex, which is caused by a chronic scratching or rubbing of the skin, which causes inflammation. And then this causes the skin to look thickened or maybe wrinkled and pale. We also have lichen sclerosis and lichen planus, which are both inflammatory conditions of the skin. They both carry a small risk of turning into vulval skin cancer. Even our hormones can be responsible for giving us a vulval itch. The vagina is estrogen dependent. It thrives when there's estrogen around. And estrogen is one of the major hormones in women. Whenever we have large fluctuations in our hormones, we can develop a vulval itch. So I'm talking about during pregnancy, when you're breastfeeding and also during menopause. Like I said, it's very common, but we're just not talking about it but we are on this channel. If you have a bowel condition like Crohn's or ulcerative colitis or even irritable bowel syndrome, if that bowel condition is causing leakage of feces or smearing of feces, and that's constantly in contact with the vulva. Similarly, if you have a condition whereby you are maybe leaking urine, maybe when you're coughing or sneezing, then the urine is constantly coming into contact with the skin. Both of these can irritate the skin. Any condition that gives you that generalized itching can also give you an itchy vulva. So there are some medications that can do this. There are also some chronic conditions. So for example, chronic kidney disease or chronic liver disease. Diabetes can sometimes cause this if the sugars are poorly controlled. And, and there are certain conditions of the blood. So for example, lymphomas that can also give generalized itching and therefore an itchy vulva. Having a psychological problem can present as a vulval itch. And we also know that stress can either trigger an itch or it can make an itch that's already there much more noticeable and actually worse. So why do you itch in the first place? Have you ever been in that position where you've got an itch but the more you scratch it the more it itches and then the more you scratch it and it's just this cycle. You're itching because nerve endings in your skin 
are being irritated. And now to relieve this itch, your first instinct is to scratch it. But actually, at the minute that you scratch your skin, you will be lifting off some of the skin cells and this will cause inflammation, the release of inflammatory chemicals. These will stimulate the nerve endings even more and basically intensify the itch. And sometimes, because the skin barrier is now damaged, it means that microorganisms like bacteria can now get into the skin and cause infection. So let's talk about self-care. What can you do at home to help yourself? If you can, try really hard not to scratch that itch because you don't want to trigger the itch scratch cycle like I explained before. If you really can't help it, make sure that you keep your nails short so that you're less likely to cause damage to your skin barrier because that can increase your risk of infection. Avoid using fragranced and perfumed products on the vulva. And also, if you're suffering from vulval itching and you're using soap, I would advise that you stop using it because soap can dry out the skin more and make the itching worse. Instead, use a soapless soap or use a gentle cleanser or you can use an emollient as a soap substitute. One of the tips that I tell my patients when they have vulva itch is to put the emollient in the fridge. It's cooling, it's soothing and it just gives you that additional relief. And also pay attention to the type of detergent or washing powder that you're using to wash your underwear. Avoid your coloured toilet paper and your lavender scented toilet paper, because again, these can irritate the skin. You can also try to avoid tight fitting clothes or synthetic fibers for your underwear, for example, nylon. If the cause of your vulva itch is because your vulva is constantly wet because it's coming into contact with um, maybe urine or feces, or maybe even because you have a pad on and it's coming into contact with menstrual blood and that's causing irritation. One of the things that can be really helpful is to put on an ointment. So something like petrolatum jelly or an equivalent because this actually forms a barrier on the surface of your skin and it just reduces the chances of your skin becoming irritated. If the vulva itch is worse at night or if it's affecting your sleep then a useful tip can be to use a sedating antihistamine in which you can purchase over the counter. Really what we're trying to do here is to take advantage of one of the side effects of this medication which is drowsiness because using them at night can help to improve your sleep and make the itching less noticeable. So when should you see your doctor? It's normal to have an itch there now and again but if you have a persistent itch or simple symptoms suggestive of infection, then this is the time to really go and see your doctor. My intention here is not to kind of encourage you to self-diagnose in any way. In fact, it's the opposite. I want to show you that it is nothing to be embarrassed about. Don't let embarrassment get in the way of you seeking the help that you need. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching this video and if you know anyone that would benefit, please do share it.